Assalamu alaikum everyone, this is Abdul Samad from 17SW and today I will be presenting my mobile application project that is weapon tactics and simulation. So first of all let's see what's the practicality or we can say what's the use of this project. Why was this built in the first place? Well this project is for military men and weapon enthusiasts but mainly military men. See, in military, officers learn about weapons, they study them, they study their assembly, disassembly, and their tactical info. But they can't revise the handling of weapons everywhere. Unless they have a live weapon, but that's the ideal case scenario. I mean, you can't take the weapons everywhere. And demonstration videos of these are hard to find on internet too. Let's suppose you record the demonstration video when you had the live weapon with yourself but that will cause some problems like one of them is a storage problem and every officer will have his own video that means they will not be synchronized and that is they won't be on the same page anymore and that's the key to the military tactic this app solves all of these problems as it is connected to a real-time database that is Firebase database. So if the officers maintain the database themselves, they'll all be synchronized and be on the same page and there won't be any storage problems either as it is all online and available on the go. So let's see what technologies are used in this project. Uh, as you can see, I've opened my Android Studio. That means the, the first main technology is Android, which is obviously accompanied by Java and XML. And in the Android, I have used Firebase API and in Firebase I have used the storage API, analytics API, database and UI storage API. I have also used the Square Picasso API for image retrievals. Okay, so let's run the project and see what it can do. Alright guys, here's our splash screen and now we have moved toward the main activity. In main activity, we can select the weapon categories that is rifles, shotguns, machine guns, submachine guns, etc. This is the splash screen which is mainly contains of the video view and some code to make the window focus change so that we can see the whole screen without any system navigation or notification bar. As we are in the main activity, this is the main activity layout and the main activity Java file. Okay, so let's select machine guns. As I said earlier, all of the data is being retrieved from the Firebase on runtime as it is a real time database. From main activity, we have moved toward the weapon selection activity and this is its layout. All of this text and images is being retrieved from the database at runtime. Now if we select any of the weapon, its information will be displayed on the screen along with the assembly and disassembly video. So let's select M2 Browning. And now we have moved toward the bean activity which consists of video view. And this is its layout. In layout, you can see I have attached a scroll bar along with a relative layout, and I have created rows which are inflated in the relative layout at one time. Okay, now let's see how the video looks. And I forgot to mention that the video view is also attached to the media controller API, which is the default API to control the videos and its streaming. So as mentioned earlier, this is a real-time database. Let's see how the real-time database works. For example, if I remove this field, aka, 
50 cal is m2 browning is also known as 50 cal gun if i delete this field at this moment it will be updated in the application instantly so let's try it as you can see the application doesn't contain any aka field because it's removed at the very moment so the main advantages of this application is as discussed earlier our synchronization ability and to be on the same page by using the real-time database as it updates everything instantly and the moment the data is changed and achieve all of this without using much of the storage as everything is available on the go